think we mentioned it's Rack Your Own Balls, which has worked out well here this week. Now, Ramil needs to make a ball and get a shot on the one. And um, if he uh, can run a couple of racks, uh, he'd have a very good chance of getting back this game. Let's see uh, how he breaks here. Nice. There goes some nine. Almost. Oh. <laughs> that was a little suspenseful. Didn't look like it was going to go for a minute. Well, I tell you, this, uh, this sport can be absolutely brutal. He came within about a quarter of an inch of scratching in the side. And if he had done that, it would have been five to nothing. But instead, it's now four to two, and there's no signs of abatement in sight. We talked earlier about how well he's been breaking the balls, and that is one of the reasons why he's in the finals of this major, very difficult affair. here Danny's got a great shot here and if I see the angle correctly I think he has an angle to to follow this down and I think the cue ball goes uh, between the five and two as strange as that might seem uh, uh, I think he's got a nice natural angle to do that whereas he risks missing the one ball or getting snookered if he tries to punch it over to the left I think this goes naturally between the five and two ball with a nice high ball I might use uh, maybe the slightest little bit of left English along with it. Just like that. Good shot. All right. This is becoming ever more interesting and suspenseful as uh, Ramil uh, threatens to get this to within one game. And again, uh, up around the side pocket would be ideal. It's not the end of the world if he ends up straight in. Okay, he was straighter in than I thought. Now, in his earlier match, he missed one ball of this nature, trying to get too far back down the table. I'm going to suggest rather forcefully that being by the side pocket's fine here. No reason to risk missing the four ball, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, he doesn't have to move the cue ball much. He'll have a great shot at the five. This is perfect. Now he can do what he wants. I like going two rails out of the far left corner towards the six ball and playing position for the corner pocket. Well, this is okay too, playing position for the side. And that's fine. Probably go two rails around the nine here if I see the angle correctly. Just like this. Good shot, good shot. Well, this, this young man is fearless, is he not? Oh, this guy is playing awfully good pool right now. Well, he's saying, uh, he's sending the message too. He's saying, uh, I don't care if you're effing Reyes. I don't care if I'm behind four to nothing. There's a reason why I'm in the finals. Uh, Pat Fleming's instituted this new thing. He, he's likening nine ball to straight pool when these guys run a few balls. And he informs us that Ramil Gallego is on a 20 ball run. Oh, six is awfully short for these great players, though, Dan. Anything could happen. 
Well, it's 4-3 four four right now, four so he's three, yeah. only down by one game. And the way he's breaking, I'm, um, uh, who knows, he might uh, run a couple more racks here. He sure could, yeah. He's going to have uh, six balls going. All right. He's got to play safe here. And the only question is, how do you do it? And I would be looking for as little cue ball movement as I could get here, and as little object ball movement, too. But it looks to me like he's got a nice natural angle to bank that one out of there towards, look at what he's looking at. That's what I like, towards the four or a little beyond the four. The cue ball to the rail and right back on top of the two and three. I think that's the angle that he's got. It lays perfectly, if I see it correctly. Nice, nice. Well, if you're effing here, uh, he can play a ticky off the inside of the five, and that's what he's looking at to see if he can make the five. That's probably as good as he has. The one might even go in the side pocket off the seven. Or he could go one rail across the side, but I don't like that. If he happens to make the one, then he snook it on the two ball. I notice he's not going to... Uh, all right. Here we go. I want to hit the inside of the one like this. Good chance to make the five. And there he goes. Oh, great shot. Absolutely great shot. I find it almost eerie how often I can predict what he's going to do, too. Uh, Mike? Gives me a lot of pleasure because he's such a knowledgeable player. I mean, I love to watch that bigger knowledge come to the fore. That's that's so beautiful. Uh-oh. Boy, howdy. Just like that, uh, he doesn't have a shot. Except a three-ball combination that's off-angle and far too strange for him to, to, to attempt, I believe. And if he plays safe, he could do so by thinning the two-ball and sending the cue ball on the other side of the seven and eight. And he would have the seven, eight, and three ball to uh, hide the two ball behind. I don't think. Go ahead, Dan. You want to say? Yeah, I was just a comment that uh, it's kind of funny how momentum works when you have the momentum going for you. Remove. Mill has over the last couple of games. It seems like you get a couple more breaks, and the other player has a little more tentative at times. Like normally, that's a mistake Efren normally wouldn't make. Yeah, and uh, it's got to be disappointing after that great ticky shot that he made to make the five ball. I'm still not sure what he was trying to do, but he, but it sure worked out. I'm not sure either. Hard to tell. I, uh, he wasn't trying to make that. He might have been uh, trying to play it safe. I, I don't know. All right. At any rate, that's a big turnaround because instead of four apiece, it's going to be five to three. And Efren only needs one game to win the first leg of this uh, little bit different final format. 